Welcome to our Online. and in this case we're going to take a look at the transition matrix and in particular we're going to try and calculate the stable transition matrix in the case of an absorbing Markov chain. Again, an absorbing Markov chain is where one of these stores, for example, will retain all of its customers once they go there and none of the customers will ever go back to another store as opposed to the other stores which will retain some of their customers but some of them, these customers will also go to the store that where no one comes back from kind of like a black hole so to speak you go in there and never come out hmm, kind of interesting so in this case we have what we call an absorbing Markov chain so all the customers will end up in A none will end up in B and C so if we have a transition matrix and we want to find the stable transition matrix eventually a stable transition matrix should look like this with ones at the top whoop, ones at the top that should be a one and zeros everywhere else because that's an indicative that the, the, the stable distribution matrix should then look like this. And of course, that indicates that all the customers are at A and other customers are at B and C. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our initial transition matrix and we're going to multiply by itself to get a new matrix. Then we're going to take that, multiply times the original transition matrix to get the new matrix, B cubed. We take down that result, multiply times the transition matrix to get P to the fourth. We then take that result, multiply times the transition matrix to get P to the fifth, and so forth. And if we keep doing that until we get P to the n, where n is a very large number, it eventually should look like this. The question now is, does this matrix appear to be reaching that goal? Well, notice that at the beginning, we do have a 1, 0, 0 here, like we have over here, but we have a 0.2 and a 0.3 at the at the top here and notice after the first multiplication it become they become bigger numbers then they become bigger again they become bigger again they become bigger again you can see that over time they seem to be approaching the number one and one over here also notice that these other four terms these right here will become small now initially we go from 0 0.1 to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 to 0 0.13 0 0.13 but notice then we go to 0.218 to 0.113 to 0.095 and so they begin to get smaller and those numbers as well become smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as we go on so you can see that the trend is such that these numbers right here eventually will end up looking like this and so they all will go to zero so it does look like as we continue to multiply the transition matrix by itself and we continue to take that result and multiply it again and again we can see that eventually we tend to converge to what we're expecting to see. Now again, since we know that that's the case, we have a shortcut method to actually go through and calculate that in a much better way. And I'll show you that in a future video. But here I just wanted to show you that if you take the traditional methods of solving for a Markov chain, you can then see if, it, even if it's an absorbing Markov chain, the methodology can be the same. But notice that the end result is that it will look like this with a distribution matrix looking like that when they become stable. And that's how we do that.